Vinod Kumar here. In this video, we are going to learn some problems in partnership chapter. In the previous video, we have learned some important principles in partnerships. Based on those principles, we are going to learn problems in this section. So now let us move on to the problems. Say A comma B started a business by investing rupees 35,000 and 49,000 respectively. If at the end of the year A got 6,500, how much shall B get? Say observe this problem. A has invested 35,000 and B has invested 49,000. So here no mentioning of period. So what does it mean? It deemed as for one year. Unless otherwise mentioned period, you can take it as one year. See, in the next line, they have told like that. If at the end of the year means one year, that is 12 months. So, A got 6,500 as a profit. Right? How much shall B get? Now, to find the answer, first we have to find profit ratio or loss ratio. Friends, here profit ratio, loss ratio, both are same. Okay? A investment is 35,000. B investment is 49,000. See, profit ratio. Here, investment periods are same. Profit ratio is equal to ratio. That is 35,000 is to 49,000. 35 is to 49. Upon cancellation, we will get 5 is to 7. See, in the problem, A got 6,500. So, this 6,500 should be equal to which part? 5 parts. Because 5 is related to A investment. So, 6,500 should be equal to 5 parts. Now, to find B profit, we have to find 7 parts. See, 5 parts are 6,500, then 7 parts are how much? See the relation between 5 and 6,500. See, 5 13s are 65, so double zero, 1300. 7 1300s are 9,100. Okay, now we will see another problem for better understanding. See, A comma B comma C started a business by investing rupees 12,000, 15,000, 21,000 respectively. Out of total profit, C receives 1800 more than that of A. Find the share of B. See, in this problem, only investment are given 12,000, 15,000, 20,000. Nothing mentioning about period. So, you can take it as one year. So, what is the exact question? Find the share of B. To find the share of B, we need profit ratio of A comma B comma C. So to find profit ratio of A comma B comma C, that is nothing but investment ratio. Profit ratio is equal to investment ratio, that is 12,000, 15,000, 21,000. So 12 is to 15 is to 21. Upon cancellation, we will get 4 is to 5 is to 7. C receives 1800 more than that of A. What does it mean? C receives 1800 more than that of A. What does it mean? This 1800 is the difference between A and C share. Right? Okay, this 1800 is the difference between A and C profit. So, in the profit ratio, what is the difference between A and C? That is 7 minus 4. So, 3 parts equal to this 1800. 3 parts equal to this 1800. So, for share of B, we need 5 parts. 3 Parts are 1800, 5 parts are how much? 3000. See the relation between 3 and 1800, 600. Now see the relation between, now apply the relation, same relation to the 5 parts, that is 3000. Okay, we will move on to the another problem. A, A and B started your business by investing 21,000 and 27,000 respectively. Find the difference between their shares out of a total profit of 5,600. See, here also no mentioning about period. So, you can take it as one year. To find the difference between their shares, we need profit ratio first. Profit ratio first. So, what is the profit ratio? That is investment ratio. 21,000 is to 27,000. 21 is to 27. Upon cancellation, 7 is to 9 has come as a profit ratio. 
So total profit is 5600. This equal to 7 plus 9 that is 16 parts. 16 parts are 5600. See the relation between 16 and 5600 is 350. So to find the difference. So what is the difference? 9 minus 7, 2 parts. You need to find 2 parts. So 2 parts are 7. 100 okay let's we'll see another problem yes i started your business by investing rupees 15000 after four months b joined him with 20000 and again after four months c joined him with a capital of 25000 at the end of the year if b got 3600 find the difference between a and c share c in this problem, A has invested 15,000. After 4 months, B has invested 20,000. And again, after 4 months, C has invested 25,000. See, here investments and investment periods are different, friends. How? Investment periods are different. A has invested his amount for entire 12 months. Because from starting, he has invested his capital. But B has invested his capital for how many months? After 4 months only he has joined the business. So 8 months only he has kept his capital. For how many months he has invested his capital? After 8 months he has come to join the business. So only 4 months he has invested his capital. So to find the profit ratio, what is the formula? That is investment into period of investment so profit ratio is equal to 15000 this is the capital of a into investment period of a that is 12 months is to 20000 this is the capital of b into investment period of b that is 8 months is to 25000 this is the capital of c into 4 this is investment period of c so upon cancellation we will get 9 is to 8 is to 5. This is the profit ratio of A and B, C. See, if B got 3400, find the difference between A and C. So, if B got 3600 means what? 8 parts equal to 3600. Difference between A and C share means what is the difference between A and C? 9 minus 5, 4 parts. So, we know 8 parts of 3600. We need to find four parts see the calculation part eight parts are 3600 four parts are how much see the relation between 8 and 3600 that is 450 you apply the same relation to 4 that is 1800 so now we will move on to the another problem see a started a business by investing rupees 15000 after four months b joined him with a capital of rupees 20000 Find the share of A out of total profit 9000 at the end of 10 months. Friends, in this problem, A has invested his money from the starting point. After 4 months, B has joined him. Right? So here, investment periods are different. But another issue is there. In the question itself, what they have asked? At the end of 10 months. In the previous problem, you see, you observe the difference between the problems. At the end of the year, so we have taken here 12 months total period. So we have taken A, A investment period for 12 months. B investment period is 8 months because 12 minus 4. Here, C investment period is 12 minus 8. But in this problem, the total period of investment is 10 months only. So A has invested his amount for 10 months. After 4 months, B has joined. So after 4 months means how many months B has invested his capital? 6 months. That is 10 minus 4 only, not 12 minus 4. You have to observe this thing here. This is very important. So no, now you need to find profit ratio. 15,000 into 10, 20,000 into 6. Now upon cancellation, we will get profit ratio as 5 is to 4. What is the total profit in the problem has given 9000? What is the question exactly? Find the share of A. 
So that is five parts. We need five parts. Total profit nine thousand should be equal to I plus four nine parts. Nine parts are nine thousand. Five parts are how much? Five into thousand, five thousand. This is the share of A. See friends, if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can subscribe, like, share my channel. Reasoning aptitude tips. We will meet in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.